Hi, so today I'm going to be giving you some tips on drawing hands. Hi, my name is Luis Escobar. I'm a storyboard artist in The Simpsons Television Show. I've been working on the show for over 25 years now, and I'm here to empower you. So I asked my patrons uh, what uh, they would probably like me to talk about, and Raul Youngston asked me to draw, talk about drawing a few things, one of them being drawing hands. And uh, drawing hands is extremely complicated. I will get into uh, that in, uh, in, in, in the actual tutorial or the tips, I should say, because I'm only going to be talking about drawing tips. I'm going to be using uh, my uh, an exam examples from uh, my website. I will link to the, um, the link to that page if you're interested in the description of this video. Um, OK, so uh, without any further ado, here it is, uh, my tips. Uh, it's not a full tutorial on every specific thing, but here's my tips on drawing hands. All right, so I'm going to just really, uh, I'm going to do as, as quick an overview of tips here because, um, as I said, um, drawing, drawing hands is extremely complicated. <laughs> um, I'm going to be using uh, some of what I, I talk about on my, at the drawing website under the cartoon hands formula. Uh, I'm going to skip these cartoony hand stuff and I'm going to go straight to a little bit more, slightly more realistic. So, uh, but I'm going to skip this bit here for now and I'm going to go straight to here. He, no, here. Uh, when it comes to drawing hands, what you want to do is uh, gesture first. So, drawing hands is very, very much like drawing figures. Uh, you don't want to start drawing a hand uh, without having any kind of foundation. Um, uh, hands are like, you could treat hands as if they were miniature figures on top of a figure. Because that's how expressive hands are. They are, in a way, they are uh, figure drawings within a figure, right? That's, that's, and that's why it's so difficult. That's why they're so difficult to draw because they are just as complicated, like hands are just as complicated as a figure is. So uh, number one, um, when it comes to drawing hands is reference. So you should always, 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 always find reference for yourself when you're drawing hands. So this is, for example, my library of, of hand reference. Uh, I've got a, I got a Dropbox full of my, of my hand <laughs> and um, uh, in poses that I've used. I think this I used uh, somebody holding a staff, I think. And um, just different styles of just holding stuff. What do my hands look like? Notice all these photos are just taken here at my desk here. And actually this one was taken at work. Um, so yeah, like so, we've got uh, so when 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 we look at hands, we're looking at we're we're looking to do a gesture. So it, it's all the rules that um, you have when drawing uh, a gesture. You should have when drawing hands. You're looking just for the energy. They don't have to actually be. Yeah, it doesn't have to actually be accurate, right? Like, like it, you, you're just looking for for the energy of the of the gesture. So that would be tip number one: gesture first, especially when when you're drawing hands. Gesture first, right? There's no difference between drawing a hand and drawing a figure at this at this 
level at this point. You're looking for the gesture. So that's super important. Um, and just like with a figure, once you've got the gesture, then you start doing the structure. Now the structure, as I pointed out here, tends to be a lot more boxy than usual. So what we've got is a, uh, a, a box, a box for the palm, and it really does help to make the fingers boxy as well. Uh, you, they, they do have uh, uh, corners um, like, let me see, do I even have an example? I don't have a clear example of it here. Um, this is the closest thing to it. But um, when you have a, a finger like this, so um, let me let me show you what I was intending to. to let me talk about this. This is not here. Um, so let's say that this is this is we're we're looking at a finger from the front, like it's pointing straight. So the finger is is is, is boxy in that. Um, it fits in a in a box like this, right? But when you draw the actual, like we're looking straight into this tip, what um, what is going on here is that we have the this top and then this. So the the top of the finger, you could you could argue is flat, right? And then the the rest of the finger is 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 round on the edges. So when you're drawing a a a finger in a in a boxy type shape um, the the finger this is it's flat here's the here's the here's the nail and then this is round on the bottom so it's flat on the top round on the bottom that that really does help when you're drawing the fingers um, another thing that I wanted to point out is that I drew this kind of line right here like this when I was drawing the gesture of this of this finger and that's because hands have a jet are, are have this kind of a gestural finger curve right like so the um each knuckle has is not it doesn't go across like the the knuckles of the of the hand don't go across uh straight they they have this swooping arch so this knuck these these kind of corners or not knuckles but but like phalanges or or, or or sections of the fingers they have a swooping curve a swooping curve like this right so they so they're off centered like this in a curved shape and so when you when you're drawing fingers you want to you want to make a note of that you want to note that this these are see how they there's a there's a there's a curved line across and then if you were to draw there's a curve cross right and then here curve cross so all of this there's a there's a curvature there's a curvature you're you're you're, you're being aware of that so when the knuckles I mean the the, the fingers are are each each part of the finger um, they are interconnected by a curvature so you're always aware of that sort of thing when you're when you're even even when you're doing the gesture I did this this just to guide me so that I know that this finger will be high further or you know like you can see you can kind of see that there's like a little triangle here you can see that this goes up and then there's it, it, it's all cur and it, this goes in so there's a curve here and then the, of course the knuckles here and then there's more and then there's more so you have to notice that that curvature right also, you could see here with the um, with the thumb, you could actually see that it's flat here and then it's round here. Um, one of the things I would highly, highly recommend drawing uh, fingers, um, finger breakdowns, and hand breakdowns by copying Bridgman. That is um, that he he by far is ha when I was when I was learning uh, to wrap my head around hands. Um, his breakdown of the fingers and the, and the thumbs and the hands uh, are so boxy and and solid that um, 
that I highly recommend using. Like, like I still use this kind of shape for the thumb because Bridgman, and then like there's like a drumstick and it, 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 it's super helpful. So I highly recommend, like these are tips. I'm not going full on super, like, like one of the reasons why I'm not going full on super deep into all of this stuff is because it, it, it would require like a whole course just to go into just hands in and of themselves if you want to get really precise. So I'm just giving you general tips right now a, a, a bird's eye view of all the things that you really need to be aware of when you're doing hands. All right, so say that you've got this already um, worked out. So uh, one of the things that I just I did want to point out. Um, uh, oh, uh, let me let me go back to the palm being being a a, a a a a box. So at this point where you would be able to see. Let me let me change color here. Um, so now you can see that 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 once you have the gesture down, then you're then you wanna you wanna uh, the the palm is actually like I said it's a box, and so you can see that here is where the edge of the box is. Here's the edge of the box here. Um, this is slight slightly slanted here, so let's move that there. And then what what we what we have here is now the palm is much more boxy. And so this, what this does is it gives you the um, a foundation on which to put the, the the fingers. And this isn't precisely a box here. Like I said, there is a gesture that comes in, uh, and I'm not 100% sure I did it in here, but let me see. Uh, yeah, see, so how this is not quite a straight across. It doesn't go straight across here. There is a a gesture there so uh, here I am just doing a box just so that you can get the j the gist the idea of this palm shape but in reality um, the palm is a little bit more like this where it 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 has a slant in and of itself so you have to be aware of that slant when you draw the palm When also when you're looking for reference for your hand, um, your your personal hand is ideal. There are other there are apps. There's a there's a phone app called Handy, which is just hands. I'm not sure exactly. Uh, it, it's a it's actually a much handier, uh, pun intended, uh, uh, app for heads than hands, which is kind of a. Uh, thing because I mean everybody has a hand that they can easily take a photo of but um, having a, a, a head that you can light um, in different ways it's, it's much more difficult to light your head uh, especially like for somebody like me who's got a beard you don't always want a beard on your people especially if you're drawing a lady or something um, so you want you want to be able to have like a like a head uh, reference and stuff like that but again there's apps if you want to be able to draw hands uh, off of and you don't f somehow want to draw your own um, there are apps for that all right so uh, that's one so so gesture first then the palm can be broken down into a boxy shape like this and then uh, Moving on from there, we want to talk about the thumb, which um, it works uh, very strangely. Um, it, 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 the, the thumb, it, it's, it's as if it's got a hinge and it goes way, way past uh, uh, the, the palm like that. Okay, so just be aware of that. And, um, and again, like notice how it, I, I made it into a boxy shape so that there is um, some semblance of of direction here of, of where um, uh, of, of, of uh, 
of, of solidity for the fingers. You don't want to just make sausage fingers, okay? Um, so uh, when it comes to fingers and the breakdown of fingers, um, fingers break down from longest to middle to short. So every single section of a finger progressively gets smaller. So the longest phalange is the one that's closest to the palm. And then this one's the middle one. And then it gets smaller as it goes. And, and um, notice here how this is straight, straight, straight. And here's the curves. So it still follows that notion uh, that I was saying where you have the flat on the top and the and the curve on the bottom here that's the idea so and again you don't want to break up all the fingers um all the same the same length so this will be smaller than this so like let's 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 put in the box So at this point, it's a it's an organic box, so it's going to move like so. So let's say that, okay? So we have a, a boxy finger. Let's put in the other one. This one is a little... You can see that this would be the corner and then very like this is the top and it's very thin up here like that and then we have the so we're drawing kind of a these boxy fingers like that right and then we're making sure that these boxy fingers like this is the longest this is longest they're, they're wrapping around the, this these these um, flange arcs here and then this one then this one this this looks a little bit longer because it's because of the foreshortening of this flange there but that's kind of what's going on here and then we have this follow that and then this and this shouldn't be this shouldn't be the same So I'll deliberately make them off. Okay, so there. So that would be kind of the way that you would break these up, right? And then um, and what you want is the top to be straight and these to be softer. That That's a good kind of um, design choice. But an even better and more fun design choice that um, I especially got from, I think I was watching, looking at Milk Call Hands. Milk Call is in, uh, one of the nine old men uh, from um, the, the so-called nine old men of, the, uh, of animation uh, that kind of invented animation. Um, one of the things that, that, he, that he does that I absolutely adore is he plays around with the knuckle shapes. And he does this. He does this weird kind of thing. So I, I will show you what that is in a second. But look how cool, like, that looks cool. Like, I totally stole that from, from um, Milk Call, I think. So I'm going to get to that in a second. Um, I just wanted to, let me see, what was it going to, oh, right, right, right. Um, the, the, before, I, uh, before I talk about that, though, I just wanted to say, um, something about the um, the knuckles. So the knuckles of the hand um, begin. Uh, if you look at if you look at the at, at the at the palm of the hand, the knuckles are this area here. That's where the knuckles are. In this palm here. So what I'm saying is that the knuckles are right behind this cushion, right here. But 
the thing is that um, when you look at the back of the hand, um, that means the, 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 the web of the fingers, see how the web of the fingers are? And here's that cushion here, that padding of the palm. Well, if you look at the cushion here, the, the, the webs, and then the palm cushion would be here, and the knuckles are way down here. Look how far away they are from the webs of the fingers, right? So what you don't want to do is put the knuckles way up here by the webs. They need to be way down here. This is bad. So if you're ever drawing the back of the hand and you're putting the knuckles over here by the, by the, by the webs of the fingers, it's wrong, okay? The knuckles need to come all the way down because they're in the palm. They're, they're, the palm here, the palm here. Like that's where they belong, okay? So that's uh, a very important tip. Um, when drawing the back of the hand at any point in time. I mean, I think it's even, let me see if, uh, yeah, see? See how far down from the web of the fingers these the, the knuckles are? Let's see if there's another, if I have another one here. No. So that was, that's the only one. Okay. That means that the knuckles are way back here, okay? So if you're ever drawing a hand Remember that the, the, the knuckles are way down here. And then here's the fing the finger the, the webs, the fingers of the, the webs of the fingers, okay? And then we have the, the hand here, okay, the palm. Okay, so that's really important. I just needed to point that out because um uh, you, you don't want to make that mistake, it'll look it'll look wrong. All right, so uh, now I'm going to draw the fingers and I'm going to show you the milk call thing that I was talking about. So I'm going to actually do it here, uh, uh, just show you on the side. So here we have a finger. Let's say we have the box here. We already did the box and then we're, we have the finger and this is a side view and then we have the the fingers now uh, another tip i'm going to give you is that you know how i broke this down into into three parts and their longest right longest middle and shortest right so they get progressively smaller right this one and these these this middle one and this last one are close to each other but not quite they're they, they this one's still just a tad bit lot bigger than this one and this one is even bigger still and and they're not they're not broken up like this they're actually broken up like this so there is a um so it doesn't it, they don't quite break up this way they, there's a there's a there's a bit of a slant right um, that's that's one tip that's one tip about about um, about the the breaking up of the knuckles this is the this is longest this is the second longest and this is the shortest okay short middle and then long right like okay so and then and then we got that and then so here's the here's the little milk call trick that I really really love and this is a stylistic thing so um, um, you, you you don't have to follow it this is just something that I that I that I really really like and this is something that I tend to do myself um, but what milk call did was he um, in order and, and I and I find this actually helpful especially when I'm doing gestures of the of the fingers is is doing this kind of inward outward inward gesture to the to the hand to to the fingers so what I mean is this bump this this um this knuckle I, I I instead of going completely flat I, I add a, a, a very slight upward curve and then on this 
on this um, phalange, I do an inward curve. And then this one, I do an inward curve. And then the knuckle is a, it, it, because it's bone, I make a little hard cornered edge. So it goes in, out, in. And then like the tip of the, the tip of the, the finger is a, uh, is, is a little bit straighter. And then, and then this is soft on the bottom here. And um, this makes a really stylized finger. So I did that here. It's very subtle. You can see it, it bounces. See how lump, lump, and then inward, inward, inward. So I over exaggerated on my example, but that's, and then, and then like these, this shape, I, it's over exaggerated. Like if anything, like in this cartoony version, I made the, the front huge and then these smaller. So it's a very cartoony. Um, I reversed the, um, the size of the phalanges um, just for the sake of, of, um, of design and energy. Let's see if I, um, yeah, see, look how I just reversed the, the phalanges. I made the, the tips of the fingers huge and then I made these other ones a little bit smaller. Um, but but it still looks okay um but that's this is this kind of knuckle up down up down thing um it just it adds a a, a pop to the fingers that um that is uh that it, it's an unexpected it, it's really unexpected it doesn't it, i don't know why it works so well but it but it really works so let's take this example here and then we have this and then we have um inward outward inward very subtle and then let's do that again here inward outward inward These are these are my 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 tricks, so I'm I'm kind of giving you giving away some of my 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 favorite finger drawing secrets here. Um, the thumb is all for me. The thumb is all Bridgman, baby, all Bridgman. Like if you want to draw really great thumbs, copy Bridgman's thumbs, and then just go to town. Just just do the Bridgman thumb. It's it's it, it's right there. Like you, you could just, just copy his thumbs. Just do that. You'll you you can't go wrong with a Bridgman thumb. Like those that that thing is just those things are just amazing. So. Now you can see that very simply, this tells the story without getting too complicated. Outward, inward, you see, in, inward, outward, inward, inward, outward, inward. And then you've got the fingers there and it, and it really does define the finger and it gives it a, an interesting design and flow uh, a, a, that that you wouldn't have had if you were just drawing a straight line like it, it, it breaks up the finger in a very unique way and 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 when you do it that way it's 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 very clean and, and simple and um, and unique. It, it, it really, it really helps. Boom, boom, boom. Sometimes this is, this is the way I just do the gesture itself. And it, and it does like most of the work. 
And like I said, I stole it from looking at Milk Call drawings. So it always, so it, it, it helps uh, when you're looking at other artists and seeing what is it about their work that, that, that's just resonating with you. You can pick up some, some really interesting, um, Um, design choices that you can steal from. So uh, that's it. That's those are my tips. Um, usually, you want to draw from life. Um, you'll uh, eventually you're going to be drawing enough from life so that you can actually start drawing stuff from your imagination because you're breaking things down. Uh, like I said, copy Bridgman fingers, um, but just keeping in in mind some of those things that I that I was talking about by um, the the way that you break up the fingers, the the spacing of the fingers, the 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 the, the gesture of the fingers, the the curves, things like that. Um, the breakdown once you've got the gestures uh, into into blocky uh, into blocky three dimensional shapes. Um, what the kind of the, the short, middle, and long version of the thing. And then even at the end, when you're adding the final touches, you're, you're adding some rhythms inward, outward, inward, inward, outward, in, it, it, inward. It, it, it gives you that kind of really cool design uh, look to it. Now, when you ever look at my hands, you're going to see um, what I'm doing there. You're going you're gonna to start noticing that I'm doing it all the stinking time when I'm drawing hands. Um, uh, so, uh, yeah, uh, you're, 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 it's going to start sticking out like a sore thumb, uh, I guess, uh, uh, not, no pun intended. Uh, but, um, okay. So that's, those are my tips on drawing hands. Hopefully, um, uh, this has been helpful. Uh, and, um, let me know if there's anything else you want to know about drawing hands. I mean, this is kind of like a quick overview of some tips that are, that are good about drawing hands, but, um, I hope this has been helpful, and I will talk to you next time. All right, bye.